Hey boys, what's poppin? Today we have another video on how to recover your Fortnite account slash your Epic Games account in Fortnite Chapter 4 Season OG 2023. Let's get right into it. Okay, so this video is going to be super easy to do. If you own the account and you have some sort of evidence, you're going to get it back 100%. But you need to watch this video and don't skip through because I'm getting a lot of questions that I've answered in every single video I did like this. So yeah. Before we begin, there's going to be two methods to do this. First method is going to be a lot easier and it is going to be for people that have access to their emails but don't know the password. And the second method is pretty much going to be the title of this video. It is going to be for the people that don't have access to their email and don't know their password. If you have any questions for me or feedback, please comment down below. And yeah, let's get right into it. Okay, so here we are on the desktop. What we are going to need is our internet browser. Here I have Opera. If you're using anything else, that's fine. We want to go to the Google and type in Epic Games. Basically, what we want to do is go to the Epic Games website, which is going to be this Epic Games store. Once we're there, uh, I think I'm signed in. I'm just going to sign out real quick because obviously we do not have access to our account. So I'm just going to like role play that I don't have access to my account. Anyways, um, you'll see this little icon uh, when you click on it. It's on top right if you didn't catch it. It's going to say email. So uh, there's not going to be like a uh, forgot password option. But don't worry, all you have to do is type in your email and uh, click on continue. And after that, you'll get the option forgot your password. This way, when you click on forgot your password, you'll need to write in your email again. And then you're going to get a link on your email that you open and you'll be able to reset your password and access your account. So that was method one. It is that easy and simple for people that have access to their email but have forgotten their password as i said this is going to be super fast however method two is a bit more complicated but worry not it's going to be a lot slower especially right now since epic games take two to three days to reply or something like that but yeah anyway let's get right into method two all we'll need right now is an internet browser at oprah here and what we want to do is go to google and search in epic games and first thing that will pop up is going to be Epic Games Store. We want to click there and we'll be brought to this page. <clears throat> now, just to prove that I'm not signed in, I'm just going to like click right here. And you guys can see like I'm literally not signed in. So I'm going to go back. And then uh, what we need to do once we're here is because obviously we cannot sign in. Uh, we want to click on support. Now, this has changed a bit since last time I showed you guys um, how to do this. I know. But don't worry, it's all good. Uh, we have a workaround because usually they don't allow you to contact the support without logging in. But there is a workaround, so um, a lot of people miss it. So where we want to click is on accounts, not Fortnite. So accounts, we want to click on accounts again. And we'll scroll down until we see this uh, button contact us. Even here, it says we can only provide support for the accounts uh, that you're logged into. This is not true, so don't worry. Here, there's like a, this little button underneath saying I'm unable to log into my account. You want to click there. And then you want to scroll down until you see I don't have access to the email on my account and I want to change it. And then you want to click on contact us again. And there we go. There you have it. So now that we're here, there's like this account info thing and it says like current Epic Games account email address. Since you do not have access to it, this is supposed to be the email address of your Fortnite account. Just write in the email address that was like uh, the last email address of your account before you got hacked or for the hacker changed it, etc. Same thing goes with the display name. I suppose if somebody hacks you, um, they're going to change the name, of course. So just make sure to type in your old name and that works as well. I'm just going to type in whatever so I can go to the next step. Here we have the new email address you want for your account. This is basically the email address that you have access to. So they can actually message you back, etc. So make sure this is uh, the email address that you can use now. And that uh, they will put the your Fortnite account back on. And then that will be your like Fortnite email address. I hope you get what I'm saying. I'm just gonna write in the uh, test email address I have. Uh, just to show you guys the whole process. And then click on send verification email. 
After that, uh, it's supposed to say that the code has been sent to the email address. Please check your email inbox and enter a code below. I know some people had an issue with this. They didn't know what to do. Basically, all you have to do is go to the email address that you wrote in the box and uh, you'll get a code there. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Okay, so this is how it looks like. This is how the email looks like. Uh, please confirm your email address. That's going to be the title and you'll get your... Uh, temporary authentication code and this is the code you want to copy right here the top and you want to paste it right here and then you'll be able to click on the next step this is very important additional account info first email address so this is the first email address that you use to create your fortnite account uh that's self-explanatory same thing goes with the first display name now you might not remember these I don't know, you can give it your best, but the chances are the less you remember about your own account, uh, the less uh, chance of success there is of getting it back. And my first display name, I believe my first display name was actually YouTube Amber. I'm not sure, but I think that was it. And then I changed it to like a bunch of other things. Connected accounts, Um, also self-explanatory. If you had any accounts connected prior to your uh, Fortnite, like Twitch for uh, Twitch drops and stuff, uh, make sure to do that, like add Twitch. I'm gonna type in my uh, my Twitch username and approximate account connection date was like, uh, I don't know, 11th, 19, 2020, save and continue and there we go. Um, next step, this one is also very important, last four digits of uh, the oldest credit card you used to purchase. So the first ever credit card that you used to purchase uh, V-Bucks, you wanna type in the last four digits of that one um that's pretty like self-explanatory and here you need to attach all the screenshots of the receipts of purchases made with the account now a lot of people cannot find the receipt those receipts are basically just going to be in your email that's where you get the receipts for buying v bucks so yeah just make sure to screenshot that and upload it click on select file and upload it okay <clears throat> now this is i think the most important step over here and the other details you would like to add Basically, what you want to do is add like as many details as uh, you can to this box. So everything, you know, if you move the country, your IP address, like absolutely everything. This is what will make a big difference. So basically, all you have to do is prove that you own the account. And, you know, like if you own the account, you're going to know things that a person that hacked it or whatever doesn't know, like the four last digits of the credit card and so on. So there you guys have it. That's the method two. And these are the only two ways to do this, guys. There is no magic software or magic person that can boost this process or help you get your account faster. This is like the only way you can do this. Also, keep in mind that you also need to be patient because Epic Games, especially right now, as you guys saw on their support page they will take a bit longer to apply to reply i don't know what it is i think it's because uh, a lot of people are losing their accounts right now i don't know why that's why i'm making uh so many of these videos because uh, they're really good for my channel and because a lot of people need help and i'm just trying to help out it'll be it for today i hope you guys enjoyed have a nice night and uh see you in the next one